Then a new general knowledge is Addison. Uh, yeah, if I'm going to write, compose, and arrange music, I mean, I might as well study why, what is sound. Sound travels mm -hmm. 700 miles an hour. It is the collision of air molecules. So I would like to know what occurs on a molecular level when sound travels. I also got into an area, this is within the context of course disciplinary, is um, psychophysics, the relationship between physical stimulation and mental phenomena. And I sort of spoke about mm -hmm. physics. But I take uh, psychopathology, power psychology, because you have to take stuff like precognition, premonition, clairvoyance, uh, lucid dream, a number of different power psychological so you have a higher frequency. If you put a very right. diagonal and horizontal lines are used primarily on a two-dimensional surface to illustrate to illustrate the three-dimensional optical illusion that we perceive as three-dimensional art in a two-dimensional surface or canvas. The level of diagonal lines. That's from a geometric standpoint. That's like the geometric architecture of art formation. It's these diagonal lines and these you know, a commercial art, a commercialized area, a city. Okay, rhythmic, meaning that the human ear interprets sounds in, in increments. So, 